Mm. It just looks super cute. So that is the homemade pizza. What's up guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna be making a super simple, delicious pizza. So you go ahead, start with the dough. Get in ingredients in the description box below for you guys. You're gonna add one cup of flour. This is two cups, so I'm gonna do half of this bowl here. Garlic, um, salt, sugar, and oregano. Higher packet of instant yeast. Let's go ahead and add that. Warm water, 3 4 cups of warm water. Warm water here, not too hot, not too cold. Go ahead and add the water. Ooh, that smells good. I smell the garlic. Okay, now we're just gonna gradually add this cup of flour, but it does need to be opened a little bit in the center because that's where all the moisture is trapped right now. I'm gonna go ahead and shape this into a nice dough ball because we want it a little bit sticky still, all right? We want it a little bit sticky. Okay, now I'm gonna take another bowl, drizzle some olive oil all over it. I'm gonna brush it. Brush the oil all over the bowl. Kind of go like this. All right, so I'm going to cover it up with some plastic wrap, or you can use a really nice damp towel, whatever you guys prefer. I'm gonna let this sit for 30 minutes until it doubles in size. Seven more minutes until the dough is finally risen. I put it outside on my porch because it's pretty hot outside, so just checked on it. It's doubling really nicely, so paired my toppings. Um, I love to add mushrooms. So I just cleaned some mushroom, then some red onion. I do mozzarella cheese. I just did store-bought pizza sauce today. Mmm. That's good. Uh, just normal, traditional pizza sauce. And I don't know if I said mozzarella cheese already, but mozzarella cheese. And then I'm gonna finish it after it's baked. I'm gonna put some basil. I love basil, so. Preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, so that way it can be ready. The dough has risen. So now I'm just going to gently um, knead the dough back to its original size until it's nice and smooth. So about three to five times. So I'm just gonna knead it for a little bit, for a few minutes. Feels nice and soft. This is perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just um, roll this out. So I went ahead and rolled out the pizza and I poked some holes in it and I'm just pinching a little bit of a crust on it. Just add whatever toppings you want. I'm gonna add the pizza sauce. Yummy, yummy pizza sauce. And then I gotta go grab the cheese from the fridge. Add the cheese, mozzarella cheese. <laughs> Delicious. Now I'm just gonna place some mushrooms. I'm gonna place cute mushrooms on the top, just like that. They're so cute. <laughs> some red onions. Here. All right, and then that's literally it. Um, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour on the crust. I just like that style, I don't know. <laughs> so, and then now I'm gonna bake it for 13 to 15 minutes. The pizza is done. And it smells so delicious. Super simple pizza dough and recipe. Okay guys, so this is with the basil on top. It just looks super cute. That is the homemade pizza. Sliced it into like super tiny little slices here. This is the cute, easy pizza. Delicious, easy pizza dough. 
with basil on top. Uh, pizza sauce is on the side, but I'm really just gonna use the ranch because I love pizza. I love ranch with pizza. <laughs> So delicious, simple, easy. Mm -hmm. And so fun to make as well. Yeah, so I left it in there for 15 minutes and it's perfectly cooked. But. If you like yours like super well done, you could leave it in longer. Mm -hmm. Nice and chewy. <laughs> Powerade. <clears throat> Cheers. Cute little slice. Those mushrooms are so good with that red onion. Mm -hmm. Making sure the camera didn't cut off. <clears throat> I don't like a lot of oil on my pizza. So that's why I just use flour on the top instead of brushing it with like olive oil. Sometimes I'll do that, but I do prefer a dry crust. Cause I dip it in ranch anyway. <laughs> All right guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye. I don't wanna let myself Myself.